Have you ever had the problem where you've got too much information on the screen, typically like this? One solution is to embed the H5P accordion module directly onto a label activity in Moodle, like this. <laughs> In this demo, we're going to look at embedding the accordion plugin into a label in Moodle so that we don't have to have all this text displayed on the label. Rather, it can just be displayed using this accordion tool here. Now, before you can make this happen, you'll need a plugin, and that's called the HTML H5P button plugin for TinyMC Editor. If you're a Pukanui client, just ring us up and we'll get that installed on your site. Otherwise, you will need to contact your administrator to do so. So we've got the, con the content here. We want to put that into an accordion. To create an accordion in H5P, you first go to the course that you're wanting to add it to. You then go to the menu, site pages, and then content bank. This will bring up all the H5P content banks that you've created for that particular course, of which we've already got an accordion sample that we created previously. But I'll just add a new one, select accordion as being the type of H5P content we want to create, and it'll come up with the, with the accordion settings page. Takes a while. Type the name of it, accordion sample 2. Then we can start copying and pasting the heading of the accordion. Now you just need to copy the content in, so copy the title. Then you can add another panel. Just copy some more text in. And a final panel. Save that. And you then close that accordion plugin down. And there it is, the accordion sample two. You go back to your course. Back in the course, you then edit the label that you want to add the accordion. Scroll down to where you want to place the accordion, hit the H5P, browse the repository, which will take you to your content, and there's the sample 2 that we created. Select the file. Insert the H5P content, save it. And when you return back to the middle page, you'll see rather than have the text laid out on the screen, it's now represented as an accordion. Right, thanks for watching and uh, please feel free to subscribe to be informed of some more helpful tutorials.